And this was in her chest for 10 years. Some of you have noticed. Oh, they caught you. Yeah, you guys caught me. Three years from now, when he and I are watching the vlogs, we'll be like, oh, look at my little plants. Morning guys and happy Tuesday. Oh, Ollie's coming to say good morning. Oh, stretch. Today's been a day of catching up on a lot of emails and work and staying inside. It's rainy. I think we we're supposed to get snow today, but then the weather's kind of borderline on the snow coldness front. So it's uh, just been a rainy cold day, but Ollie, do you want to go out in the rainy cold and uh, go better hurry? He's so cute. As I say that, check it out. It's actually snowing right now. So, I guess it is getting cold enough for snow. I wanted to show you guys on our Christmas tree, which we, last night, after we ended the vlog, we just sat under the Christmas tree and let the train go around it and just, uh, Fast in the glory of the Christmas tree. <laughs> uh, but right here is Mary's port. Last night I, I we had to cut some of the footage because we went on and on talking about the Christmas tree and I wanted to show you. But this is Mary's old portacath that she got replaced I guess like two years ago and uh, it's now a Christmas ornament. Look how shiny it is. Isn't that cool? It's real shiny. It's real shiny. I mean, this was in her chest for 10 years. We thought it would be all crusty and yeah. eroded. We thought it would be like this crusty old thing. And it, I mean, I guess they like sterilized it after um, surgery and gave it back to us. And it looks like brand new. Well, the, the if you look at the uh, septum. septum, that's what it's called? I'm pretty sure. Where, where the needles go in, it's like a little, well, let me see if I can get it to focus here. Okay, so right here in the center of the port, it's like a, I don't know, what was you, rubber. A little rubber jimmy jab. A little rubber jimmy jab that the needle would go into. Anyways, you can see how it was starting to chunk up and. It was missing a chunk. Yeah, and like, basically, there's a lifespan of ports based on how many times they get a needle poked into them and the rubber starts to degrade. Anyways, that's why we changed it before we had any major problems. Well, the rubber wasn't the main reason. Yeah. But the overall life of it. Yeah. But, I mean, that is pretty much the overall life of it, is that's that rubber. True. But so, also, like, the, yeah. The, also, like, the tubing. Yeah. Yeah. But. That goes from the port to the heart. Anyways, so, we've got that hanging on the Christmas tree. You want to say good morning to the peeps? Good morning. And, guys... Baby, it's getting cold outside, and some of you have noticed. Oh, they caught you. Yeah, you guys caught me in Chicago. Oh. I could not wait to wear this new Fry Life beanie. It is a knit cap with a Fry Life logo tag sewn onto it, and this thing is warm. It kept me warm in Chicago, and it is... He was so worried. So when we got back to the airport to fly back here, oh yeah, <laughs> he, lost, he lost his hat. He freaked out. Because and I was kind of thinking, I know where you can get another one, but I didn't say that. Well, and part of the reason I've been wearing this, and we haven't told you guys about it yet, was this was the sample, and we were waiting for the rest of them to come in stock. Anyways... They came in today, and so uh, we've actually got a few few new things on our online store that you guys can check out. One of them is this hat. It's $15, free shipping. Uh, another thing that we have is we like to have some uh, fun stuff for you guys for the Christmas season. It's this I Choose Joy. It's a five-inch magnet, and uh, it can go in a car or your refrigerator. I'm pretty sure I left one in the hospital because I took one to the hospital last time I was in, and I put it on my whiteboard. I'm curious if it's still there. Or if somebody took it. Maybe. I hope somebody took it home. If you have a Fry Life magnet before the release of them. Congratulations. And uh, we also have these uh, little stickers. They're three-inch stickers that say I Choose Joy. Which, tell them about the stickers. 
Uh, these stickers are like really high quality. You can put it on a water bottle. It'll Wait. go through the dishwasher. What do you want? No, that was good. It was just funny. You were like, they're really high quality. <laughs> and like, so no. what did you want me to say about them? No, you did. Yeah, they can go through the dishwasher just like you did. I, just I, I, I went through the dishwasher? <laughs> <laughs> Mary's making soup. What kind of soup are you making? Ribolita, ribolita. Ribolita. Which is really our word for any kind of tomato based vegetable soup where yeah. we put cabbage and kale and bacon and all kinds of good stuff in there. Um, so the stickers, like my sister put one of these stickers, not this particular one, but on one of my nephew's bottles, baby bottles, and it's been washed and washed and it's held up. So I'm glad to know. I got an idea. Let's, let's, if you order one of these hats this week before uh, Sunday, uh, we'll put a free sticker in with your hat. There you go. And then you can put it on whatever you want to put it on and let us know how it goes. But yeah, so um, whenever we're trying out new products that we might want to offer on our store, we like to try them out and make sure that we approve of them. And this was one that he couldn't. Like, we usually try not to show them in videos because we want to show them to you when they're ready. We were packing for our Chicago trip and I knew I needed a hat. And I was like, Mary, I just want to take my Fry Life hat. I just, I really love it. Um, so, here it is. So cute. Got the little Ollie boy on there. And, um, oh yeah, there's one more thing. Here, you guys cook with oh, Mary yeah. and I'll go grab ah. the other thing. All right, so I am just doing some bacon in the bottom of the Instant Pot. I've been loving cooking with the Instant Pot. Not sponsored. I just find that, it, number one, I like to cook over here by the counter rather than over at the stove. For some reason, I'm enjoying that. So there's that. I'm putting you in the cabinet. Ooh. And then once your food is ready to be Instant Potted, so once I do the bacon and then I'm going to do like the vegetables, the celery and onion in the bacon grease, um, sizzle it up a little bit, <clears throat> then I'll dump in tomatoes and beans and that sort of thing, and then I'll put the lid on it and cook it, and it's done. Okay, here's the other new product. Isn't that awesome? Check it out. We have zipper tote bags with... The fry life, laugh every day, and um, so they're they're pretty ooh, thick. Ooh. Like uh, yeah, they're it's like a, it's like it's like a, a thick canvas. So they call this like a boat tote bag kind of thing. Yeah, it's got a zipper on the top. That's the texture. If that helps. Um, so you can zip it up. And then a pocket in the front, and oh, you know what we should put in the front pocket? It'd be like a little kangaroo pocket. I gotta pay attention so this doesn't burn. Okay, I'm gonna put Nolly Boy in there. That is cute. Do you wanna make like a discount bundle if they want to order this with it or something? Sure, you'll get a discount <laughs> if you order these two there things you go. together. There Cause you go. he fits perfect in there. And um. But I, I thought these might be cool for Christmas gifts. Yeah. Or anytime gifts. They're kind of classy. I like them. Oh, Sometimes. Yeah. Here's, here's what the olive oil looks like when it comes in the package. Um, yeah. Sometimes we order products to try out for you guys, and me, it's like so-so, and we don't end up offering them. And then sometimes they're like definitely yes. When we got this in the mail, it was definitely yes. Yeah. And uh, we also want to offer things to a wide variety of people and budgets. So like you can have just a sticker. If you want a little piece of the Fry Life but you don't want to spend a lot of money or there's obviously tons of shirts and other things if you want to spend your whole allowance on the Fry Life, we're good with that too. But we want to have stuff that reaches a whole bunch of different people. Okay. Yeah, we really, we really love running our online store and it's... Uh, kind of brings out the entrepreneurs in Mary and I and we love that we give 10% of all the profits to the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation and yeah, we... that's part of uh, why we do what we do but um, 
Um, earlier today. Yeah. Well, hold on. Pause for a second. I'll be right back with a story. Okay, she's got to deal with the bacon. Okay, Peter's gonna look at that or watch it, watch that for a little bit so I can tell you guys real quick. Um, I had. I had a call earlier this afternoon and like I was a little bit nervous about it. It was for an article that somebody was writing and they wanted my, I don't know, input I guess. I don't know what the word is. They interviewed me and I, I was so nervous but I did that and it was fun. I'm loving seeing this in the background and the Christmas tree. Mm -hmm. And. Now we're just making soup. It is so interesting. It gets really dark really know, early it here. It's weird. So it's just afternoon, but it looks like it's midnight. Yeah. But anyway, <clears throat> I'm gonna make this soup and we will see how it turns out. I haven't made this kind of soup in the Instant Pot yet, but we'll see how it turns out. The other day I got this rosemary plant at the grocery store and I just keep, ah. Uh, Oh, it smells so good. Mmm. And I put it in this little pot I had from Ikea. Oh, are you guys ready for an update? Windowsill update 2018. Wow. My celery is growing. I've been growing it for a while. My second celery... Oh, wow. That guy sprouted up. Because when we got back, these this was dry. So I gave it more water. And now it's growing me some more celery. This is part of our Christmas tree that came off. This is part of our Christmas tree. This is part of our Christmas tree. This is part of the rosemary. I'm trying to like re-grow it. Don't ask, I don't even know. <laughs> Those are the sorts of things that it's like, why would we put this in the vlog? But then three years from now when he and I are watching the vlogs, we'll be like, oh, look at my little plants. Remember that time when you were a windowsill gardener? <laughs> <laughs> so now I'm just going to sizzle, sizzle. Sizzle, sizzle, fry, fry. <laughs> All, right. All right. I've never got... used this fire roasted diced tomatoes. Nice. Like Sounds... YOLO. Yeah. Actually, I can just pour the broth into a can and then it'll get the rest Smart of the cookie. tomatoes out. Smart cookie cooker. Alright. Alright. Oh, and that's probably about the size of... You is sure that is. what you were saying? Well, that, that Part of what you were saying. Perfect. There's that. Okay, time for the beans. My small white beans. Perfect. And next is... Does it say to... I think, let's see what the recipe okay, says. Okay, give it a little stir. Yeah. Oh yeah, it says put the bacon in, but do we want to put the bacon in? Or keep well, it? it's just at this point that you just... Um, oh, the cabbage. That you close it up. Oh, are you thinking save the bacon till the end after it cooks? Like put it on top of our soup bowls. Maybe so do half a, half of it in there, because I think it'll be good flavor. Okay, last but not least, we're going to throw some kale in there. Is this pre-washed? Triple washed, actually. Oh, okay, cool. Ooh. Amazing. Oh, you're amazing. <clears throat> like that much? That's probably good. Okay. <laughs> We're having a pot of kale. Okay, soup is done. Last step. Last step. <laughs> Last <Yes>. step. <laughs> Parmesan. Parmesan. Yum. This looks good. I'm going to get some of that extra bacon we had and sprinkle it on top. Some of you guys will remember the Thanksgiving room. Peter and I built this tiny room uh, three years ago, maybe a little more than three years ago, when we were living in our friend's basement. And this was like, I think we've said before, it was kind of like we were building our own little house because we didn't have our own house at the time. We didn't have our own little home, so we built that little house. But the idea was, during the month of December, we often do a countdown for Christmas, 
but in November we don't have anything. So this was like our little Thanksgiving countdown to countdown to Christmas. And, <laughs> um, and so in November, the idea was that we'd put one piece of furniture out each day, but we just got it out. So can we can we just point out the fact that we built that couch? We did. We built this seam by seam. Yep. And then we cut the legs off of this side table for the little feet. And that was that. Perfect. All right. So and that's one of my prints. A little teeny version of it. <laughs> Link in the description. I know some of you guys really enjoy when we put these up. I don't think I'm gonna put them up every day, but every couple of days we'll do. How about the fireplace set? Yeah, that's actually what I was thinking. We think the you same gotta keep thing. the house warm, you know? Yeah, and there's a little that fireplace. All right. Perfect. Countdown to Thanksgiving. Another thing from our past. I got out these two blankets from Scotland. I remember standing in Primark. They were just a few pounds each. And I remember saying, which one should we get? Should we get the bright one or the classy white one? And we decided, let's go for both of them. So we bought both of them and I'm so glad we did. But we are going to say. As always. As always. We will see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Good, Good night. night. Did you come running for the end of the vlog? Stretch. Good night, everybody. We will see you tomorrow. Good night.